सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल हंसता एजुकेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन विच आर इन्वॉल्विंग हायर पावर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑन लाइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज क्वेश्चंस इन्वॉल्विंग हायर पावर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑन लाइट सो लेट्स सी ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे एडवांस 2022 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज लाइक दिस so we are given the matrix m equals to 5 by 2 3 by 2 and here it is minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 okay so this is a matrix okay and we are asked to find out the value of एम पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू बेसिकली वी आर गिविंग द मैट्रिक्स विच इज गिविंग बाय फाइव बाय टू थ्री बाय टू एंड माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू ऑल लाइट एंड वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एम पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे एडवांस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके पेपर टू लाइट सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एम टू दि पार टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो डू यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस मैट्रिक्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू टाइम्स सो वी कैन नॉट मल्टीप्लाई ऑन लाइट या वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई बट इट विल टेक टू मच टाइम ऑफ लाइट so that is uh, not the correct way of doing this problem okay so there is a trick to solve this kind of questions which involves higher power of matrix all right so let's see that tricks all right so whenever you have a questions right higher power of matrix okay what you have to do is you have to always right always write the matrix m h m equals to identity matrix plus a matrix okay so this is the very important tricks okay you have to write this given matrix m h identity matrix plus another matrix a all right so here i is the identity matrix of order same as m okay so this is the very important trick what you have to do whenever you have to find out the value of like this okay some m power n okay where n is a very large number okay so you have to what you have to do 
you have to uh, write this matrix okay as some identity matrix plus another matrix a all right so now now m power n will be how much it will be identity matrix plus a power n okay so now this can be expanded by the help of binomial theorem only right? so this will be how much this will be identity matrix power n plus n c 1 into identity matrix power n minus 1 into a plus n c 2 identity matrix power n minus 2 into a square plus dot 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 plus it will be how much at the end it will be n c n minus 2 here will be identity matrix square and then a to the power n minus 2 plus n c n minus 1 into identity matrix plus a power n minus 1 and then finally it will be a power 1 ok and this is basically by the help of binomial expansion ok So now there will be three different cases only. Right? So this A matrix can be like this that A power n is equals to A. All right. This may be one case, and there is another case that this A power n will be identity matrix, and in another case this a power n will be how much it will be a null matrix all right so when this a power n equals to a matrix then in that case what will happen this a square will be a and every higher uh, power of a matrix will be same as that matrix all right so from that we can write that m power n will be how much it will be identity matrix plus okay this each term will be a matrix okay so we can take a to the common and so it will be how much nc1 nc2 plus dot dot up to how much ncn and then finally it will be how much identity matrix plus a into so this can be from nc1 to ncn it has the value of 2 power n minus 1 all right so this can be one case okay So this is the another case when a power n is identity matrix okay so when a power n is identity matrix this simply means that a is also an identity matrix okay so a is also an identity matrix so m power n will be what we can simply replace a by identity matrix so from that m power n will be how much this is identity matrix and a is also identity so i identity plus identity power n so it will be two times of identity matrix power n so this will be two to the power n into identity matrix okay so 
there is one more case which is a power n equals to null matrix right so when a power n is null matrix in that case what will happen these terms okay these terms will be how much null matrix right so this entire term will be your null matrix okay and this term will be null matrix and this term will get uh, become a null matrix right so what you will end up with so you will finally find m power n equals to this identity matrix plus this n c 1 into a all other terms will be your simply identity uh, null matrix all right so this will be how much this will be identity matrix plus what is the value of n c 1 that is basically n so the value will be identity matrix plus n time a all right so let's solve that question all right So in the question, the matrix was given like this, m equals to 5 by 2, here it is 3 by 2, here it is minus 3 by 2, and here it is minus 1 by 2, okay? And we are asked to find out the value of m power 2022, okay? So according to the step, what I mentioned, what you have to do, you have to first of all write this given matrix M as some identity matrix plus some other matrix A, okay? So here this identity matrix is the, uh, this I is the identity matrix of same order as this one, okay? So I can write this to be 5 by 2, this is 3 by 2 and this is minus 3 by 2 and this is half, alright? So this matrix should be equal to how much? This is the identity matrix. So 1, 0, 0, 1. So if the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, then this matrix should be how much? So since this is 5 by 2, so this should be how much? 5 by 2 minus 1, okay? Uh, so this should be how much? 3 by 2 uh, since this is 0 this also should be how much this should be 3 by 2 and this should be how much this minus this ok so this should be minus 3 by 2 and this should be how much uh, minus half ok so this is our A matrix alright So let's see what is the value of a square, okay? So this is the A matrix. So let's see what is the value of a square. So if you will find out the value of a square, then a square will be a null matrix, okay? Since a square is null matrix, then a q will be how much? A q is a square into a matrix, that is again null matrix, okay? So, if a square is null matrix, then a q will be a null matrix, a 4 will be a null matrix, a power 5 will also be a null matrix, and total so on. In general, a power n will be a null matrix, okay? So, you can apply this formula, okay? m power n is equal to identity matrix plus n into a, okay? This is the third situation, alright? Where the a power n is identity matrix. So now m power n will be how much? It is identity matrix into n times a matrix. Okay. So this will be 1 0 0 1 plus 2 0 2 2 into a matrix is how much? 3 by 2 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 minus half. Okay. From this you can find out the value of m power n only. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video.